Shalom, shalom. It's your boy Isaiah Israel, and I'm right here with my uh Noah, brother Noah. Shalom. And we're gonna be uh we're gonna do I'm gonna do a little uh quick sword play video, man. I know it's been a minute. I ain't really, you know what I'm saying. I've been putting out videos. It really ain't no excuse because I should be always doing the work of the Lord, man. And um, but I I had to bring out this precept because I've been seeing this a lot. I've been seeing this so much in Israel, and we gotta tighten up, man, because these are the last days, man. There's a lot of stuff finna go on. There's a lot of stuff finna pop up. There's a lot of stuff finna finna happen. And in these last days, man, the only thing we can rely on is the Most High God, right? We gotta stay in the Spirit, man. Right? So, staying in the spirit. What is the spirit? That's the first thing you should be asking, right? So, let's everybody go to your... I already got it right here. But everybody go to uh, John 6, verse 63. So, what is the spirit, man? Right? What is the spirit? How do we stay in the spirit? How can we stay in the spirit if we don't know what the spirit is? Read that up. This is the book of John, chapter 6, and verse 63. Mm -hmm. It is the spirit that quickeneth. Right? The flesh profiteth nothing. So your flesh profiteth nothing, right? Your, your flesh, your fleshly desires, you know what I'm saying? Your lustful desires, your lustful sin, they don't profit you anything, man. The, mo the most I said is it is the spirit that quickeneth, man. This is just a shell, right? And also the spirit, well, we're going to get into that next. Go ahead. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. They are what? They are spirit. Read. And they are life. Right. So the words that the Lord gives us, or the word, which is the Holy Scriptures, the Holy Bible, right? They are spirit. They are life, right? So the spirit, not just, you know what I'm saying, like the scriptures are manifold, not just in your uh, fleshly shell, but the spirit itself, the word itself, the sword itself, right, is a spirit. So this is the spirit, the word of the Lord, right? So now that we know what the spirit is, we 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 need to know what it uh uh what it means to uh stay in the spirit or salaki we need to know what we need to do to stay in the spirit cuz there's a lot of demons that come at come at us man right so let's go to proverbs 19 and 15 we're going to go to proverbs 19:15 man right i had to write a little uh a little preset video for y'all man like and y'all got y'all gotta stay in the spirit, man, through whatever demons y'all dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Lust, weed demon, can't stop smoking weed, eating pork, masturbation, you know what I'm saying? Lusting after women with your eyes, you know, fornication, mm. and sex, you know, all these things, man. Right? 19 verse 15, right? Alright, go ahead, read that out. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 19, and verse 15. Mm -hmm. Slothfulness casteth into a deep sleep. Right, so slothfulness, being lazy with the scriptures, being lazy by doing the law and work of the Lord, man. It says slothfulness casteth uh, into a deep sleep. So, not you specifically, but your spirit, man. Right, we always got to stay awake in these last days. We can't fall asleep. What's that saying? Uh, don't let this world rock your ass to sleep. Yeah, man, we gotta stay uh diligent in these last days, man. We can't be slothful. Read on. And an idle soul shall suffer hunger. Right. So, hey, man, an idle mm. soul shall suffer hunger, man. Hunger of the word, man. Right. Just, just stand there, right. But the main point is, you know what I'm saying? Slothfulness uh uh puts you in a deep sleep, man. Right. Should we keep reading? Mm, yeah, let's go. Ahead. Yeah, let's keep reading. Read that. Verse 16. Mm -hmm. He that keepeth the commandment. Wait, he that keepeth what? The commandment. Read. Keepeth his soul. Right. Keepeth his own soul. His own soul. So lucky. Right. So he that keepeth the commandment, keepeth his own soul. Right. Keeping the commandment is doing the works in the will of the Lord, man. That's what we got to be doing. We can't be slothful, Israel. We got to keep going. We got to keep pushing. And I know for some of us, it get hard. We dealing with certain demons. Hey, I'm dealing with certain demons, man. Ain't nobody perfect, man. Everybody got that that one thing that 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 be holding them back sometimes. Whether it's your cell phone, it's a woman, right? It's the damn TV, the video game, man. Right? But we gotta shake that thing, man. We have to shake that thing, man. Go ahead, read on. But he is that 
Slakim. But he that despiseth his ways shall die. Right. So like I said, the Lord, we got to keep the commandments, stay diligent in the commandments. Then it said, he that des despises his way shall die. So we go astray from the commandments and we despise wisdom and knowledge and we don't seek it, man. We're going to end up, you know what I'm saying, eventually losing our life, man. <laughs> In point blank period, man. Right? Mm. Yeah. And we good on that? So we keep reading? Uh, we should be good on that. Okay, con, con. So let's go to the next precept. We're going to go to Proverbs 20 and 4. Because this is going more into being slothful and being lazy in the spirit, man. Is with something that we cannot do. Here's where, like I said, we got to tighten up, man. These are the last days. It ain't going to be like this forever, man. We have to absolutely tighten up in these last days, man. So read that, Art. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 20 and verse 4. Mm -hmm. The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold. Right. So a sluggard meaning like a lazy person, like, oh, I don't I don't want to work. Let's just let's put it in this example. I don't want to work. It's too cold outside. Well, brother, the Lord don't give a damn if it's too cold outside. If he say go outside and work, your ass is supposed to be going out there and work, man. Sometimes when we go to camp, you know what I'm saying, it be cold out there, right? My hands be freezing up, nose be getting a little runny, man. Sometimes I got a bad headache, right? But I'm still going out there and doing the work of the Lord because that's what he commanded me to do. And that's what I'm supposed to be, we're supposed to be doing in these last days, man. Read on. Therefore, shall he beg and harvest mm -hmm. and have nothing. Right. Okay. Con. Read that one more time, Salak. Verse 4. The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold. Right. Therefore shall he beg and harvest and have nothing. So he's not going to... If you're not... That's basically saying you read what you sow, man. If you ain't going to put in the work, right? When it's, when that time of harvest, when that time of Jacob's trouble come, when it's really uh, stuff going to go down, when she hit the fan, Right? You ain't going to have nothing from your harvest, man. Because you don't want to seek the most high God. And you don't want to do the law, statutes, and commandments. You don't want to keep his wisdom, study, read. Right? You don't want to do any of these things, man. So now when it's time for you that you need the Lord most, you ain't got nothing. Your spirit is is is, is famished because you ain't eat the, the row. And we're going to get into that too. Right? But... That's basically going into you basically reap what you sow, man. Right? So if you be lazy, you know what I'm saying, and don't plow your field, meaning seek the word, do the work, right? Therefore, shall he beg and harvest and have nothing. In them last days, you're going to be begging for the Lord and have nothing. Right? Let's go to the next. We're going to go to Proverbs 24 and 16. Uh, the Lord, he was, man, he had, he had me stuck in Proverbs today, man. We're going to get some other scriptures, but he had me. Man, it was just, I found a lot of good precepts in this. Read this up. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 24 and verse 16. 16. Read. For a just man falls seven times. Right. So a just man will fall seven times. A righteous man, you know what I'm saying, or a good or a just <clears throat> man, he going to fall seven times. He might slip. Right. You might slip in this truth one or two times. Now, I'm not saying you have a license to sin, man. The Lord had given no man a license to sin, man. Right? But a uh, uh, just man, you gonna fall, you gonna you might fall a few times, but you gotta get right back up, man. Quickly. Repent quickly. Uh King David said, he said, I have made haste to do thy commandments after he has sinned against the Lord, right? So keep reading. For a just man falls seven times mm -hmm. and riseth up again. Right? But the wicked shall fall into mischief. So the wicked, you wicked as hell, you know what I'm saying? You being evil as hell, you're going to stay in that sin, man. You're going to stay right where you are. You're going to keep sinning. And the Lord eventually going to reprobate you, man, if you don't repent. Right? Or he probably done already reprobated you if you still staying in that same sin, man. So that's why I'm saying keep stay in the spirit, y'all. Make y'all spirit strong, man. Don't give in to these lustly and fleshly desires, man. Don't give in to him, man. Right? The most I said, fight the good fight, man. And that's a that's a precept. So like y'all should have wrote that down. Right? I'm roughly paraphrasing, but the most I said, fight the good fight, man. Right? Um Yeah, that was good. Right, right, right. Okay. Let's go. 
let's go to let's go to Proverbs 13, 16. That's the next preset we're gonna go to. Because we gotta stay prudent, man. We have to stay prudent. What's the definition of prudent? Acting with or showing care and thought for the future. So we know, right? The scriptures say measures of times. So we know that Jacob's trouble is right around the corner, man. So if we know that, then we need to be spiritually preparing for our, uh, preparing ourselves for the uh, tribulation ahead, man. The white man go, you know what I'm saying? Like the scriptures say, he might cast some of us in the jail, put us in a damn FEMA camp, put us in a damn prison. Right? Snatch us out of our damn homes, man. Right? It's been all hell finna break loose, man. And the brothers that be teaching this word ain't, ain't no joke. They ain't playing with y'all either, man. They be saying, I'm saying the same thing that them brothers be saying, man. Right? So Proverbs 13, 16, man. Go ahead and read that. <clears throat> Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 16. Read. Every prudent man dealeth with knowledge. Every prudent man dealeth with what? With knowledge, read, but a fool layeth open his folly. Right. So every prudent man, like we just said, prudent, the definition of prudent, acting or, yeah, acting with or showing care and thought for the future. Right. So every prudent man, right, he keepeth knowledge. Right. And what is knowledge? Malachi 2 and 7, which is the law, man. Keeping the commandments. So every prudent man is going to keep the commandments diligently. Right? That's what that's going into, man. Read that verse one more time. That was good. Proverbs 13 and 16. Read. Every prudent man dealeth with knowledge. Right. But a fool layeth open his folly. A fool just layeth open his <clears throat> folly. Right? That's plain and simple. A fool just going, you know what I'm saying? He just layeth open his folly without a care. He ain't going to keep the commandments. He just gonna do whatever the fuck. He, he just going to do whatever everybody else doing in the world, man. Still taking selfies. Right, China and uh, the U.S. is right now uh, throwing some little subliminal shots. Right, China over there practicing with uh, nuclear missiles and stuff. Right, throwing a uh, little subliminal shots at each other, man. Right, and 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 you over here talking about some girl you want to kick it with. You over here talking about going to a party or something. Right, let's go to Proverbs eight twelve. Right. So we this is this is going into like still keeping wisdom, man. Holding fast unto wisdom, man. Read this, Art. The book of Proverbs, chapter 8, and verse 12. Read. I wisdom dwell with with prudence. Alright, now we just we know what the definition of prudence is, man. They gonna do the wisdom dwells with prudence or de dwells with a prudent man. Read. And find out knowledge of witty invention. Right. Find out knowledge of witty inventions, man. You're you going to know and you're going to understand everything that's happening around you. You're going to know and understand the things that you should be knowing. You're going to know and understand the Lord's commandments and what you need to do in the next step. Right? You got anything you want to add? No, that's good. All right, kind. Kind. All praises, man. Right? So where are we? 8 and 12. Let's go to Proverbs 5 and 15. These are precepts. You know what I'm saying? Going along with holding fast on to wisdom, man. Holding fast on to being prudent, man. 5 and 15. Mm -hmm. Right? This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 5 and verse 15. Right? Drink waters out of thine own cistern. Right. And running waters out of thine own well. Right. So, <clears throat> drink waters out of your uh, own cistern, meaning the word. Uh, what is what is water according to scripture? Oh, a feet. No, it's like you. Yeah, Ephesians right. 5 and 26. Right, Ephesians 5 and 26, which we know the word is the water. The law, the word of the Lord is the water, right? So it, the most I say, drink waters out of thine own cistern and running waters out of thine own well. Our heritage, right? This is our water. This is the Israelites' water, right? So we need to be constantly drinking it, man. It's going to be a physical famine and it's going to be a spiritual famine of the word. They already trying to ban the Bible. Speaking of which, hold on, let me see if I can get that real quick. <clears throat> oh, I don't want to show all the way. But yeah, they already trying to ban the Bible, man. They're already trying to ban the Bible in certain various areas and places, man. Right? Let's go back. All right. Go ahead, read verse 16. Verse 16. Right. Let thy, let thy fountains be dispersed abroad. Mm-hmm. 
and rivers of waters in the streets. Keep reading. Let them be only thine own, mm -hmm. and not strangers with thee. Right, so you need to drink your own water. You need to be drinking your own knowledge, which is his word. Don't give it unto any strangers, right? That's basically what that's going into, right? Keep reading. Let thy fountain be blessed, mm -hmm. and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. Right, all right, so here it goes with that holding on to wisdom thing. Because the, the Lord uses a, a personification in the scriptures. The wife of thy youth... That could be a uh, physical, but right here he's talking about a, a woman, right? The woman of wisdom, right? P use a personification. Go ahead, read. Let her be as the loving hind and pleasant rope. Right. Let her breasts satisfy thee at all times. Mm -hmm. And be thou ravished always with her love. Be thou ravished always with her love, man. Now we just found out, because it started off by saying drink waters of thy own sister. And we know that the waters is the law, right? So we gotta keep the law, man. We gotta we gotta keep constantly doing these uh doing the works of the Lord diligently, man. And we gotta let we gotta treat wisdom as a woman. We gotta cleave unto her, right? That's why back to the main point of this uh this uh little precept topic for you brothers and sisters that's coming in, man. Is stay in the spirit. We have to stay in the spirit. So we need to cleave onto wisdom, right? I think we're good on that. Mm, yeah. I, yeah, I think we're good on that. So we're going to go to, uh, so how do we stay in the spirit? That's the next question we need to be asking. How do we stay in the spirit, right? So we're going to go to Ezekiel chapter 1. We're going to go to the first chapter, right? Because like I said, look, and I'm going to just tell you, y'all, like a little example, man, for me. Even for me as a person, man, hey, when you, I encourage all of y'all, every person in Israel right now, and it's true, Trying to do the work of the Lord, right? Try, ladies keeping the commandments, right? Hey, if you slip up once, man, your soul gonna get lazy, man. And that is like point blade period. I right here can tell you from his own perspective too, man. You slip up one time, your soul get real lazy, man. That's a lock you. But yeah, man, your soul get real lazy, right? And that's how you get slowly sifted out. Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 1. Mm. <clears throat> right? And that's how you get slowly sifted out. That's why you got to keep getting back up, man. You have to keep getting back up. You have to stay in the spirit, right? You got that? Yep. Read it up. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 1. Read. Moreover, he said unto me, mm -hmm. son of man, mm -hmm. eat that thou findest. Right. Eat that thou findest. We talking about the word. Because we know that we're not supposed to live off bread alone. Matter of fact, let's hold that. Let's hold that. Let's get let's get Matthew 4 and 4 real quick. It says, eat what thou findest. Is, is the Lord talking about literal bread? Is the Lord talking about that right now? No, right? So we can't. The, the scriptures even said we can. Christ said out of his own mouth, man. We can't eat off bread alone, man. Right? Salaki, so let me get there first. Y'all bear with me. Yeah, but we can't eat our bread alone, man. Right? Go ahead and read that up. <clears throat> this is the book of Matthew, chapter 4 and verse 4. Mm -hmm. But he answered and said. What did he say? It is written, man shall not live by bread alone. Okay. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So we should be trying to eat this whole roll, man. We can't live off of bread alone, man. We supposed to be eating of the word, man. We supposed to be eating of the scriptures, man. Constantly, every day. That's how you stay in the spirit. Like when you working out, you constantly eat fruit. You constantly going back and working out. That's how you stay healthy. That's how you stay fit, right? Well, that's how we got to be in these scriptures, man, in these last days, especially. Right? We got to stay in the scriptures, man. We got to constantly, constantly, constantly stay in the scriptures, man. We can't just eat off bread alone. All right, let's go back to Ezekiel chapter 3 and 1, right? Mm -hmm. Start from the top, all right? This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Moreover, he said unto me, son of man, mm -hmm. eat that thou findest, eat this roll. Mm -hmm. Eat and, this roll, which is the book, go ahead. And go speak unto the house of Israel. Right, read. So I opened my mouth. And he caused me to eat that roll. Right. So 
the Lord, like, it, it, even in this sense, man, I'm going back, I'm reading, I'm writing down these precepts. Man, these are good. Let me, let me, let me go get this to the people, man. Lord, use me as a vessel to give this to the sheep, man. Let me get this to the sheep on Instagram. Let me get this to the sheep on uh, Israel. Because I don't know what other, any of you brothers or any of you other sisters may need to hear this, man. And I encourage you through the, through the power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that you stay in the spirit, man. Because that's what we have to do in these last days, man. We have to stay in the spirit, right? So read, read, um, read verse 2 again. Verse 2. So I opened my mouth, mm -hmm. and he caused me to eat that roll. Right. Caused me to eat that roll. I'm opening my mouth as we speak. I'm just using me as an example, but I'm opening my mouth as we speak. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been eating, you know what I'm saying, a roll. You know? I got a long way to go, but I've been eating the roll, and I give back, you know what I'm saying, to the sheep what I've learned through the Most High God, man. Read verse 3. Verse 3. Mm -hmm. And he said unto me, mm -hmm. Son of man, Cause that cause thy belly to eat mm -hmm. and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Right, that the Lord gives us this roll, man. This is the whole roll that the Lord given us, man. He said, fill your belly up. The Lord wants you to get fat. He wants you to get full with the word, man. He wants you to be fully stirred up with the word, man. Right? The Lord is feeding us, man. And we gotta eat it, man. We gotta be grateful and eat it. This is the truth. If we walking up to this truth, you gotta be grateful, man. Because there's a lot of the people that's going to get cut off. The two-thirds is going to get cut off, man. And if you don't want to be a part of that, and you, you, you better make sure your uh, election is sure and keep reading, man. Keep studying. Go harder, right? Keep reading. All right. <clears throat> Fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Right. Then did I eat it. Mm -hmm. And it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And it was in my mouth for honey as sweetness, man. That's what that's what wisdom is like, man. That's that's what it's like, man. That's what uh eating the word of the Lord is like, man. Constantly reading, man. Right? Now you're gonna taste some bitter parts. You know what I'm saying? Cause like the curses and all that other stuff, right? But you know what I'm saying? For the most part, getting this word is everything for us, right? Like the scriptures say, the scriptures were written for our learning, roughly paraphrased. Right? Mm. Right. So where we at? We already went to Matthew, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go to Luke uh, 19, 13, man. So, yo, we got to be consistently eating this old, whole roll, man. And and for the brothers and sisters coming in, Shalom, right? Kwame Asherala, hey, man, stay in the spirit, man. That's what we're going over, staying in the spirit. We're going over ways to stay in the spirit, right? 19, Luke 19, 13. Right. <clears throat> this is the book of Luke, chapter 19 and verse 13. Read that. And he called his ten servants mm -hmm. and delivered them ten pounds mm -hmm. and said unto them, right. Occupy till I come. Wait, what did he say? Occupy till I come. So the Lord said, Occupy till he come. That's what he said. Christ said that out of his own mouth. He said, Occupy till I come. Right? Meaning till he returns. Meaning we need to constantly be occupying ourselves in these scriptures, man. Occupying ourselves and doing the commandments, always doing the commandments, always reading, always praying, always studying, fasting at least once a week, right? Uh, uh, brother Azariah, shout out to brother Azariah, uh, uh, from WFI, man, he just gave the nation of Israel a challenge to go two times harder. So I'm working on doing my two times harder thing when it comes to fasting, man. But hey, that's how we gotta be. That's what the scripture said, man. That's what the Lord said. The Lord said that out of his own mouth, right? And you, and you, you know what I'm saying? Y'all be saying that y'all believe in Christ, especially you damn Christians. And then, but then you don't want to do what he say, man. Right? Let's go to, we, I got a precept. Let's go to 1 Timothy 4 and 13. Let's go to Timothy 4, 1 Timothy, Salakia 4 and 13. Because, hey, man, like, Hey, look, man, look, ain't no games finna be played in these last days, y'all. Like, it's finna get bad, man. It's finna get ugly. We need to have the protection of the Lord with us, man. Right? And we gotta endure it to the end. Right? We know if he keep his commandments, he got us. All you gotta do, the Lord, all he's saying is keep his commandments, man. And do the work, man. Right? Read this. Book of 1 Timothy, chapter 4 and verse 13. Read. Till I come. Wait, hold up. It sounded like he said the same thing again. Read it. 
till I come. Till I what? Till I come. Read. Give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Right. <laughs> Scripture say what they say, man. He just he literally just said the same thing. He literally just said the same thing, just deeper than what he said the first time, man. More in depth, right? It says, till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. And we know that uh, the Lord has given us good doctrine, which is the law in Proverbs 4 and 2. Right? So the most I said, stay reading, man. Stay diligent, man. And in, in my word, man. And endure to the end, of course, man. You got something you want to add? All right, our praises, man. Right? So, hey, man, we the Lord just said what he said, man. The Lord just said what he said, man. Read that one more time. I, First Timothy chapter 4 and verse 13. Read. Till I come, mm -hmm. give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. So we got to constantly be reading, man. We got to constantly, you know what I'm saying, stay in, be staying in this word diligently, Right? Not in, not halfway in, not halfway out. You know what I'm saying? Not lukewarm. We always got to stay in this word, man. This truth, man. We got to go hard in this truth. Now that we work, now that we woke up to the truth, we got to go hard in it, man. Right? Let's go to Joshua 1 and 8. That talks about meditation. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to Joshua 1 and 8. It's a lock you. Keep forgetting that. Yeah, hey y'all, y'all gonna have to bear with me. These, these, this sword new, man. Some of the pages be sticking, sticking together. I can't find certain books, but hey, if we gonna keep it going through the will of uh, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Joshua one and eight. Yes, this is the book of Joshua, chapter one and verse eight. Read that. <clears throat> this book of the law. Mm -hmm. Wait, this book of what? Book of the law. Read. Shall not depart out of thy mouth. Right. So we, it, it shouldn't depart out of our mouth, man. And the scriptures also say, paraphrasing, right, to only speak the oracles of, of the Lord, man. To only speak the oracles of God. Only speak the oracles of Yahweh, right? Start at the top and read that again. Right? <clears throat> this book of the law mm -hmm. shall not depart out of thy mouth. Right, so always keep the, knowledge, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in our mouth. Read. But thou shalt meditate. Thou shalt do what? Meditate. Thou shalt do what? Meditate. Read. They're in day in and day day in and night day and night. So lock you. Right, 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 right. So we should be meditating on these scriptures day and night, man. That's another way you stay in the spirit. Stay rooted in the spirit, man. You have to stay rooted in the spirit, man. We have to constantly, man. We have to, man. Right? We have to constantly stay rooted in the spirit day and night. We should be going over our scriptures day and night, right? We should be Whenever you have time, I know some of y'all work, right? We still in captivity. Some of y'all be at the plantation, but hey, man, we we gotta we gotta make it happen, man. We gotta make it happen, right? The Lord won't fail us, so we shouldn't fail Him, right? Keep reading on that. <clears throat> this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, mm -hmm. but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, right? That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written right. therein. Right. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, mm. and then thou shalt have good success. Right. So, the Lord told you. That's how I said. That's, that, and that goes to uh, Proverbs 10 and 5. You know what I'm saying? Always trusting in the Lord with all thy heart, man. Right? And we got to meditate on these scriptures. That the, the Lord just said. If we meditate on, on, on these scriptures day and night, diligently, that he'll lead us in all our ways, right? He'll lead us in all our ways, and he'll direct us in our paths, and we're going to have good success, man. He telling you right there, hey, trust in me. Lean on me. And how do you lean on the Lord? By staying in the spirit, doing the commandments, staying in the word, right? Or how do you believe, I want to say? Right, so rock 32 and verse 24. Right, let's get that real quick. And so rock because that's how we believe in the Lord, man. That's how we believe in the Lord, man. And go ahead, read it when you got it out. This is the book of Sirach, mm -hmm. chapter 32 and verse 24. Read, 
He that believeth in the Lord. He that believeth in who? Believeth in the Lord. Read. Taketh heed to the commandments. So he taketh heed to the commandments, man. He do them. He do them diligently. He keep them. He keep the Sabbath. He don't be skipping, right? He don't get lazy, man. And, hey, I got to be firm with these scriptures, man, because Isaiah 58, 1 says, Cry aloud like a trumpet and spare it not, man. Roughly paraphrasing, man. And I'm getting on y'all, man. This is love, man. Right? Because I know a lot of brothers deal with this. Deal with this slothful spirit, man. But we can't be like that, man. It's the last days, and, and nobody wants to get sifted out. Right? Read. <clears throat> And he that trusteth in him right. shall fare never the worse. Right. Hey. Right. Him that trusteth in the Lord shall fare never the worse. Right. And that goes back to when I brought out in Proverbs 3 and 5. Right. Always trust in the Lord with all thy heart, man. Right. Roughly paraphrasing, man. But hey, we got to, hey, we, we just got to stay in the spirit, man. So we won't get rooted out. Right, so that so the Lord will have His angels on us, man, protecting us at all times, man. And we need the Lord, man. We ain't we ain't we ain't nothing without the Lord, right? We we ain't nothing without Him, man. When Jacob's trouble happen, what we gonna need? The Lord, the white man, and when all the race wars be gonna be going off, and the white man ain't gonna help us, right? You still got Jake out here thinking that the white man is gonna save them, man. Or thinking that they damn riches and, and, and money is going to save them, man. Right? But this is all that we need, man. This is all that we need. It's really all we got, right? It's all we got, but it's all we need, too. Right? So, what we on? What we on? Right? We're on Joshua. Go one and eight. Okay, come on. Ma'am, so, hey, with that being said, now we got to stay diligent. Salak you. But, yeah, man, now we got to stay diligent. And rooted in this word, man. Salaki. Okay. Come on. Salaki. Say Satan trying to take away the word. <laughs> Satan trying to take away the word, right? Alright. So let's go to first Corinthians 15 58. Right? Staying diligent, man. We have to stay diligent, man. Come on, come on. In these last days, man. So staying in the word, staying rooted in the word, now we got to stay diligent. So how do we stay diligent, man? Let's find out. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 58. Right. Therefore, my beloved brethren, mm -hmm. be ye steadfast. Okay, stop right there. So he's saying be ye steadfast, right? Steadfast means resolutely or dutifully firm and Unwa and unwavering, right? Actually, look it up. I don't want to. I don't want to just say it wrongly. I wrote it, but I'm just. I want to make sure I say it correctly. Salakia, y'all. I, I want to make sure I get this out so y'all get a clear understanding, right? Right. The Lord is not the author of confusion, man. Go ahead, read that. Definition of steadfast. Mm -hmm. Resolutely or dutifully mm -hmm. firm and unwavering. Okay, con. All right, all praises, right? So, and, and, uh, and synonyms for that is loyal, right? One synonym for that is loyal. So, be steadfast, meaning be loyal to this word, man. Come on, come on. Right? Just to give y'all a clear understanding. Be loyal to this word, man. Like I said, stay rooted in the spirit, man. So, let's keep reading. Uh, <clears throat> verse 58. Mm -hmm. Therefore, my beloved brethren, mm -hmm. be ye steadfast. Mm -hmm. Unmovable. Unmovable. Me, I mean, you so rooted in the word, can't nobody tell you nothing, right? Because you don't want to be tossed to and fro from different doctrine, man. Read on. Always abounding mm -hmm. in the work of the Lord. Always abounding in the work of who? The Lord. Right. Always abounding in the work of the Lord, man. Staying in the spirit. Staying in the spirit. Constantly reading, praying, fasting, and studying, man. Always, at all times. Anytime you get a chance, man. Read. <clears throat> For as much as ye know mm -hmm. that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Hey, the Lord said your labor ain't in vain, man. The Lord said your labor ain't in vain, man. Right? And I'm going to prove that to y'all. I'm going to prove that to y'all. Let's go to Galatians 6 and 9. Your labor ain't in vain. I'm, I'm going to get this last precept. We're going to get a law and then we're going to close out. <clears throat> 
The Lord said your labor ain't gonna be in vain, man. The Lord, the Lord basically telling you He got you. All you gotta do is follow His commandments, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's let's get that. Go ahead, read that. This is the book of Galatians, chapter six and wait, mm -hmm. chapter six and yeah. verse nine. Yeah, so I get the Galatians chapter six and verse nine. Read and let us not be weary mm -hmm. in well doing. Right. So let us not be weary. And well doing. Let us not get, you know, slothful, tired, feeling like we want to rest in this well doing, right? In this truth, reading, keeping the commandments, man, right? Keeping the Sabbath day, right? We shouldn't get tired of doing this, man, right? Because y'all got to understand, don't, don't, don't envy the wicked like the Lord say. Don't be wanting to do what everybody else do, man. Because I know y'all got some Israelites uh, friends, but they still in the world. They wicked as hell. They still going out on Saturday partying and all that. You know what I'm saying? Your little Moabite friend that you used to hang out with, Mei Ling, she eating chopsticks on. She eating chopsticks. She eating noodles with chopsticks on Saturday night, like y'all used to, with shrimp, right? <laughs> right. But hey, we can't envy the wicked, man. We cannot envy the wicked, and we don't want to get weary in this thing, man. We don't want to get weak, right? We want to be rooted in the word, man, right? Keep reading. <clears throat> Actually, start from the top. Go ahead. Yeah, you, oh, you all right. All right. And let us not be weary mm -hmm. in well-doing. Right. For in due season, we shall reap mm -hmm. if we faint not. If we faint so. If we faint not. No, if we faint, we're going to reap it. If we faint not. So the Lord said, and that goes back into enduring to the end, man. So the Lord said, if we faint not. Wait, I'm going to read it. Doing for in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. This is not talking about a negative reaping, man. This is talking about a positive reaping, right? If we endure to the end, what are we going to receive? The kingdom, right? We're going to see the glory of the Lord, man. We're going to be kings and princesses on earth, man. Walking across streets of gold, man. Right? Men going to be ruling over... Certain men going to be ruling over 10 cities, man. Right? The Lord give you that... Imagine the Most High God give you that type of authority to go rule over 10 cities. 10 heathen cities. Right? And every time you beam down in your UFO, man. Every time you, yo, uh, you, you uh, beam down in your uh, uh, UFO, man. The heathens just fall at their feet for you, man. I mean, um, bow their head down to you, man. They just fall at your feet. <clears throat> right? Mm. All right, let's let's keep reading. All right. <clears throat> Verse 10. Mm -hmm. As we have, therefore, opportunity, mm -hmm. let us do good unto all men. Right. So, hey, the Lord said, as for... As we have, therefore, opportunity, let us do good to all men, right? Read. Especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Especially unto them that are of the household of faith, man. So, hey, man, look, we can't get weary in this thing, right? And we know that speaking of, it's, it's, it says speaking of faith. I just wanted to bring this out. You know what I'm saying? Hebrews 11 and 1. Faith is it. You want to get there real quick? Yeah, we can go to it. All right. Yeah, man, like, we can't get weary in this thing, man. We cannot get weary in this thing, man. We just can, not man. We got to stay in the spirit. But I'm going to get this real quick. Since, uh... This, this is the book of Hebrews, yeah. chapter 11 and verse 1. What is faith? Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Right. The evidence of things not seen. And there you have it, man. Right? We ain't never seen the Lord... We ain't never seen, you know what I'm saying, the Hamashiach, well, at least not in this life, I don't think. We ain't never seen no chariots so close, man. And we know and we hoping and we praying that in them last days that, hey, we, we are delivered about this captivity, man. So, out of all that, man, if we stay in the faith, if we stay in the truth, then if we stay inside, you know, reading, praying, fasting, studying, diligently, consistently, hey, man. We're going to reap glory, man. It's going to be a reap what you sow effect, but you're going to reap glory, man. And that's what we want, man. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close out. We're going to get a law real quick. We're going to get Exodus 20 and 3. Yeah, we're going to get a law real quick. Uh, at the Battle Exodus, we like to do a law. 
after every like little lesson, little precept, little precept breakdowns and all that, man. So we gonna go ahead. We gonna go ahead and get that, man. <clears throat> Exodus twenty and seven. No, twenty and three. Oh, sorry, twenty and three. Okay. That's the book of Exodus, chapter twenty and verse three. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Right. Thou shalt have no other gods before the Most High God, Yahweh. Right. And anything could be a god. Right. Anything is a form of worship if you do it too much, man. Right. We masturbation, porn. Women, right? Fornication, sex. You can get addicted to sex. I didn't see it before. People, men getting addicted to sex, man. It's just signed up to be a porn star, basically. Right. <laughs> right. And so money. It becomes a job. Right. <laughs> right. And that and that goes into money, man. Right. The sister said we. Yeah, we already said we, man. Right. So, hey, man, and these are things in Israel that we have to cut off, man. We have to cut this off as a nation, man, right? We want our days to be short. We want the Hamashiach. Now, we don't want to look forward to just, you know what I'm saying, talking about it all the time, but with all humility to the Most High God, Yahweh, we seek the Lord, you know what I'm saying? We ready for him to humbly uh, and speedily deliver us up, man. The brother said PS5. No, nah, no cap. Right? Anything can be a damn idol, man. Anything could be a damn god, man, to you. If you do it too much, man. And you gotta come up off of that, man. You breaking the commandments. You breaking the big ten. Right? Chris I just wanna bring this out. Christians always wanna talk about the Big Ten Commandments. And they break the damn they break the damn Sabbath, man. Salakia. Right? They break the Sabbath, man. Right? I just had to bring that out, man. So, hey, with that, we're going to say shalom. Shalom. And hey, we're going to tune in next time. I will be dropping more precept videos. Salakia, Baba Kasha, for, um, you know what I'm saying, for not dropping consistently like I usually was, man. I had to get rooted out. I mean, Salakia, Lord forbid. <laughs> Lord, Lord forbid. forbid. I had to get uh, more rooted in the spirit, right? And that's why I had to bring this out. I had to cut myself up a little bit, man. I had to get back on it, man. So, hey, man, hey. So, we're we going to give all glory and all honor to our Lord, our wonderful, mighty Lord, Yahweh, and his son, Hamashiach, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, man. And, hey, we're going we gonna to tune in next time, man. Right? And with that, we'll say shalom. Shalom.